Cincinnati and Tennessee are separated by only about 250 miles, yet they haven't met since 1993, the days of Nick Van Exel and Alan Houston. The first of a home and home here at the end of 2019 between the Bearcats and Vols. Aaron Cumberland runs the show to start. The freshman Micah Adams Woods, number three, makes his first career start for Cincinnati. And he hits the first shot. Or what he is used to doing. Screen seven to Northern Kentucky transfer Chris Vogt, who came over with John Brannon. This is the senior Trey Scott. And Scott hits just his third three of the year the loss of three players to the NBA. The freshman James, a highly touted young player, Josiah James, puts Tennessee on the board. Just throws it away, hits the deck hard. Lots of emotion in this game coming out, and we talked about that earlier. And Jordan Bowden, Tennessee's leading scorer, cannot connect. Offensive rebound for games and a third chance stuck in. The Frenchman, Eve Pond. Well, i got to ask, if you had any Skyline Chili yet? Because it's famous around here. You can't be the athletic director at Cincinnati until you legit until you have a bowl of Skyline Chili. So I have not. I haven't been around. But my wife went and got some when we were here for an interview. Like fried chicken and spoon bread. As right. I'm sure you wanted just food recommendations when you came out with us. Well, I'm taking notes. <laughs> so that's all good. I have coaches that are leaders of men and women. And uh, from there, you know, student athletes do amazing things. And you got to tell their story. So. I'll start right after that. I'll get to an apartment close to campus and we'll get going. I, I think a lot of folks can relate to a Scott chance in it. Be uh, heading to Birmingham and then straight to uh, Cincinnati and, and start work. Fantastic. 12 12, our score early on Tennessee and Cincinnati. Is focused in Tennessee, Cincinnati basketball. I've never had a chance to see uh, the, uh, this Fifth Third Arena and uh, it's a great environment. It really is. No question. Crowd's into it. Guys are playing well. Cincinnati team in desperate need of a win early as Bout puts Tennessee back in the lead with the thing. You go OTR, uh, OTR, the uh, over the Rhine area, and you'll be a local in no time. Then you hope there's not a lingering injury that would affect him as he transitions toward the next level. Here's both creating some space for Knoxville. And you can see the change of pace. Tennessee really pushing the ball, trying to get baskets early in the clock. Contact and a chance for three for James. Jaden Johnson into the game, finds Pons. And Pons delivers in the post, elevating and soaring at home over Scott. He was two years at 59 games. Credit him for putting the time to the gym, working on those tight shots. Tough one banks in for David Cumberland. Cumberland masked up with Bowden, one of the great defensive guards in the conference. And a terrific look, Scott for two underneath. To pass over the top or score. Fulkerson one-on-one -on -one with the vote. Offhand, yes. Get into that, and as you start growing, then the coach makes those decisions after you have the parameters set for you. Scheduling's a very... Jaron Cumberland around the screen from Jay Sirola, finds Williams, and Williams ties the game. Here's the freshman, Drew Pember. Pember gets his own miss and cleans it up for two. Points. Five minutes left in the half. Williams on the slash, has space, and scores with the left. His cousin Javen in to replace him. He has space, and a three. 35 in Tennessee, Orange Ponds. Rick Barnes called him, in his estimation, the best defender in the country. Cumberland, nowhere near you, Ponds. Comfortable in the transition game so far in the half court. Scott on the drive. Trayvon Scott on shooters. Turner. Adams Woods, the freshman, will get a hand on that ball. Here is Micah Adams Woods. Scott. For two. Best half we've seen Cincinnati play offensively. They have some turnovers, but yet they're making shots. And when you make shots, it makes up for a lot of mistakes. There's Bowden off the curl, an elbow jumper for Jordan. Bowden got it at 52%. Only one three. And that came from Jordan Bowden. Who goes over the top? And John Fulkerson throws it down. Inside both. 
It's a goal 10 against Pons. Tough call to go up and, and get that. And a takeaway off the basket. Adams Woods in the lane and four quick ones for Cincinnati. Let's see with Cumberland going out to see if they can put together a mini run here to try to regain this lead. Vote. Two from the big man vote with Jaron on the bench. You know, I would look for him to play more through vote in the second half. He plays and beat him to the spot. Was it a real aggressive foul? No. Uh, tough call, but again, refs want to keep it clean in the paint. Sorolo with a nice left-handed finish. You know, Cincinnati really likes Jaime Sorolo. He's from Barcelona, Spain. Transferred from Falco. Cleans up the rebound. You know, that was a great defensive possession. They kept rotating. They ended up giving a contested shot at the buzzer. Great defense. That's a good shot by Jordan Bowden. Has given the Vowels the big momentum shift. Scott clearing out space. Trayvon Scott puts Cincinnati back in the lead. Five to shoot. Turner. Side pods. Gotta keep the pivot foot alive. Bouncer to Turner. And it's the freshman Kawa sneaking in. Rick Barnes career win number 700. Williams steps it in. Quite like that before. Sorolla wants it. For a good reason. The win tonight would be one. Iowa awaits and then conference play in a very difficult schedule to start the year. So anatomically specific. What a find by Vogt! It's the seven foot center to the cutting point guard, Adams Woods. You know what really enjoys about these centers, Vogt and Sarola, they're excellent passers for seven foot centers. Turner has a great answer for Tennessee. Vogt looking for feet. Tennessee covers up Adams Woods this time. So it'll have to be Cumberland for three. Deep three. And no good. And a fumble ends up in the hands of Williams. Both over Pons. Got it. Conference. And they're closer to getting it after that boat rejection. Cumberland flips it home with the right hand. What a move by Cumberland. And his largest lead. There's a singular piece of confetti fluttering down in the middle of the paint. James hits a three. Into number 34's hands up top. Cumberland does it again. He's so good in the middle of the floor. Turner. Yes. Game one game. David Cumberland dribbles now. Adams Woods. And it's Bode with the jam! And a foul! He needed every one of the 20 pounds that he added in the summer to be able to finish that at the rim. Then great find by the freshman to throw it up to the transfer from NKU. And credit the resiliency. You know, they come out attacking and they've stayed attacking the whole game. Up top, Fulkerson off the out-of-bounds play, throws it down. Would be 8-3 for the American against the... Now if you're Cincinnati, don't let them advance the ball without... In December, to come support their team. And what a performance. What a performance by the Bearcats all night. The Cincinnati fans showed up. The Cincinnati team did as well. 56% shooting for Cincinnati. They win by a dozen over the Tennessee Volunteers.